Hi, I'm Seth Koenig of the Bangor Daily News of Portland Bureau. Behind me is the city's Bayside neighborhood, a 30 plus acre area stretching all the way from the foot of Munjoy Hill to Deering Oaks Park, from the downtown thoroughfare of Congress Street all the way to Back Cove. I've been looking into the somewhat tumultuous history of this neighborhood and in more recent years, the development boom here. Over the past decade or so, the city of Portland has invested nearly $8 million into targeted projects to help coax along the redevelopment of Bayside. That's included spending on everything from improving infrastructure to acquiring property to relocating businesses. In return, private developers have responded by investing nearly $100 million in the neighborhood, with another $40 million to $90 million already proposed for the next several years. So for every dollar the city has invested, private developers have been motivated to put in almost $20. Among the private projects already complete are the $15 million Whole Foods Market, a $4 million Gorham Savings Bank building, and an $800,000 Trader Joe's. In more than one interview, people told me that just a few decades ago, Bayside treated commuters traveling on the nearby highway to a city skyline view consisting mostly of mountainous scrapyards. Now, there's the 10-story, $26.5 million Intermed building and a $19 million student housing facility. And that's before the latest development proposal, a family of towers, 14 stories tall, 500 apartments and 90,000 square feet of retail space, potentially changed the skyline forever. 